ora mismo la la pizza io c'è mismo ora mismo la la pizza io c'è mismo ora mismo la la pizza io c'è mismo ora mismo la la pizza io all right okay welcome to super rich god the voice of god this is your host bishop ricardo show wow today our message Uh, from our super rich God, is radical faith. Amen. Hope you will learn something deeper. Huh? In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Radical faith. We will talk about the four leapers in the Bible. Poor men with nothing to lose discover great wealth and realize the peril of not sharing good news. Let's open our Bible in the book of 2 King chapter 7 verse 1 to 20. This is the whole story of the poor leapers. Again, our title is Radical Faith. Elisha said, And remember, Elisha is a prophet. Elisha said, Listen to the message from the Lord. The Lord says, About this time tomorrow, there will be plenty of food, and it will be cheap again. A person will be able to buy a basket of pine flour or two baskets of barley for only one shekel in the marketplace by the city gate of Samaria. Then the officer who was close to the king answered the man of God. The official said, Even if the Lord made windows in heaven, this could not happen. Elisha said, You will see it with your own eyes, but you will not eat any of that food. There were four men sick with leprosy near the city gate. They said to each other, Why are we sitting here waiting to die? You know that leaper, during the ancient time, they are separated from the people, from, from the community. They are called the sick people. They say to each other, Why are we sitting here waiting to die? There is no food in Samaria. If we go into the city, we will die there. If we stay here, We will also die. So let's go to the Aramean camp. If they let us live, we will live. If they kill us, we will just die. Radical faith. So that evening, so that evening, the four leapers went to the Aramean camp. When they came to the edge of the camp, no one was there. The Lord had caused the Aramean army to hear the sound of chariots, horses, and a large army. So the soldier said to each other, The king of Israel has hired the kings of the Hittites and Egyptians to come against us. The Aramean ran away early that evening. They left everything behind. They left their tent, horses, and donkeys and ran for their lives. When this leaper came to where the camp began, they went into one tent. They ate and drank. Then they carried silver, gold, and clothes out of the camp and hide them. Then they come back and entered another tent. They carried things out from this tent and went out and hide them. Then they said to each other, We are doing wrong. Today, we have good news, but we are silent. Remember, many Christians, they know the good news, but they are silent. They are not sharing the word of God. Have radical faith. Let's continue. If we wait until the sun comes up, we will be punished. Now, let's go and tell the people who live in the king's palace. So the leaper came and called to the gatekeeper of the city. They told the gatekeeper, We went to the Aramean camp, but we did not hear anyone. No one was there, but the horses and donkeys were still tied up. 
and the tents were still standing. Then the gatekeeper of the city shouted out and told the people in the king's palace, It was night, but the king got up from bed and said to his officer, I will tell you what the Aramean soldiers are doing to us. They know we are hungry. This king is full of psychology. Hallelujah. Be, be, be uh, alert. Don't use your psychology. This king used psychology. They know we are hungry. They let the calm, they left the calm to hide in the field. They are thinking, when, when the Israelites come out of the city, we will capture them alive. And then we will enter the city. One of the king's officers said, let some men take lives, five of the horses that are still left in the city. The horses will soon die anyway. Just as all the Israelites who are still left in the city, let's send these men to see what happened. So the men took two chariots with horses. The king sent these men after the Aramean army. He told them, go and see what happened. The men went after the Aramean army as far as, far as the Jordan River. All along the road, there were clothes and weapons. The Aramean had thrown these things down when they hurried away. The messenger went back to Samaria and told the king. Then the people ran out to the Aramean camp and took valuable things from there. So it happened just as the Lord had said, a person could buy a basket of pine flour or two baskets of barley for only one shekel. Remember, during that time, during that incident, they are, they are stabbing to death. That they are, they are eating their own babies. They become car- cannibals. They eat their babies. Why? Because they are starving to death already. So, there was one officer who always stay close by the king to help him. The king sent this officer to guard the gate. But the people knock him down and trample him because he never believed the prophet and he died. So everything happened just as the man of God had said when the king came to Elisha's house. Elisha had said, a person will be able to buy a basket of pine flour or two baskets of barley for only one shekel in the marketplace by the city gate of Samaria. But that officer had answered the man of God, Even if the Lord made window in heaven, this could not happen. And Elisha, the prophet, had told the officer, You will see it, remember, with your own eyes, but you will not eat any of that food. It happened to the officer just that way. The people knocked him down at the gate and trampled him and he died. He hear about the miracle, but he never experienced or tasted the goodness of God. Amen. So, the king of Aram lay sick to Samaria, and the people are starving, even to the point of engaging in cannibalism. The prophet Elisha promises quick relief. He is not believed, and the He's not believed. Nobody believed him. And the king even sued his life, blaming him for their troubles. The prophet's word is honored. Abruptly, the sick is lifted. About this time, four lepers are outside the city gate pondering their future. These four lepers teach us something about the relative value of our worldly possession. Hello? They are poor men with nothing to lose. They have no future, humanly speaking, hopeless. Hello? A terminal illness made them untouchable. They are leper. Lepros. Leprosy. If they went into the city, they would starve. Because nobody will let, allow them to enter. If they stay at the gate, they will starve. If they go to the Syrians, Arabian, they may still be killed by the enemy. 
There is no right thing to do. They must choose between multiple bad choices. Yet, they feel compelled to do something. They choose the unknown over certain death. Huh? Most would rather go down fighting. Let's go and fight the enemy. Huh? It is better to be wrong than do nothing and lose their lives by default. They had no idea what God had in store for them. My brother and sister, trust in God. Believe in God and you shall be established. Believe in thy prophet and you shall prosper. Our God open surprises us. His way are above our and His action open and predictable. Well, in our next episode, we will talk about Epicasius. Epicasius leader. Epicasius leader. And that is our God, our Trinity, our Lord Jesus. 200 A no-win situation like this, use your best wisdom. If you are in the same situation, in this bad situation, you need to pray. That is wisdom. Pray and do something. Trust God to make it right. Remember the leper would have starved if they had done nothing. There is death in doing nothing. Whether, whatever you are doing, whatever trouble you are facing, I'm telling you, do something. Pray and trust our Almighty Father. Shout hallelujah. They discover, what happened? They discover unexpected wealth, a great surprise. Their first thoughts are immediately rewarded. There is food and drink and they are starved. They are hungry. There is silver and gold. It represents relief from pri- privation and suffering. Costly, sturdy garment leaper could not just go to market and buy. They become a hog in a garbage cabbage pot eating and drinking all they can and hiding anything they can carry off. Hallelujah! Do something. Pray. Trust God. Amen? And that is wisdom from above. Eventually, they realize they have something more precious, a message. This day is a day of good tidings. Best possible news, and they alone have the scoop. Headline. It's in their power to make everyone happy. They become evangelists bringing good news. There is a lesson for those who put selfish desire ahead of God and His message. Again, there is a lesson. For those who put selfish desires ahead of God and His message. We have something better than a gospel of health and wealth. It's not the priority of our life. Faith more precious than gold. Amen. Faith is the currency of heaven. Amen. In 1 Peter 1.7. Listen. Listen. This have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold, which perish even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. 1 Peter 1.7 NIV Hello. Church life and fellowship are important. But winning soul is primary. 
we must share the message. We are enjoying our church life, but all we Christian, we should go out and preach the good news and share the good news and the gospel to the unbeliever, to the unsaved. Don't be selfish. There is danger in withholding the message, the good news. Amen. We do not well. It isn't right. People were dying and stooping to subhuman behavior just to stay alive. Some mischief. The wealth may be taken or they may be killed by others when the word is spread. They may have feared divine punishment. They realized they would be held accountable for the good news they had stumbled upon. Consider the Christian privilege and peril. We have the gospel. Men do not know it and pray upon each other in a mad quest for satisfaction they will never achieve. We will be held accountable for the message. Amen. The alternative is seen in, in 2 Thessalonians 1, verse 8 to 9. And I be. He will punish those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. They will be punished with everlasting destruction and shout, shut out from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His might. My brother and sister, there is a great joy in sharing Jesus. Do you understand? God's love compels us. 2 Corinthians 5.14 NIV For Christ's love compels us because we are convinced that one died for all and therefore all died. And He died for all that those who live should no longer live for themselves but for Him who died for them and was raised again. Souls won are our glory and joy before Christ. Amen? 1 Thessalonians 2, 19-20 For what is our hope, our joy, or the crown in which we will glory in the presence of our Lord Jesus when He comes? Is it not you? Indeed, you are our glory and joy. To have a part in changing a life through the power of God is a great dignity and privilege. Amen. I want to end up this note. My brother and sister, sister, listen carefully. This story of the four leaper with radical faith, they are hopeless. No chance of survival. But they never stop. They move. They use their radical faith. Amen. And you know, like the king, he used the psychology. He never believed the prophets. He never believed prophet Elisha. Hello. How can it be? People are eating their babies. They become carnival because of, uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, drought and uh, of famine. He cannot believe the prophet. It's sad if we are too busy with the groceries, silver, gold, and pine garments of this life to devote any time to this, to devote on any time to the spreading of the good news about Jesus. The world is in deep need of this message. None of us has anything to lose by giving our life to Jesus. His good news is more precious than gold. Amen. My brother and sister, I believe this message has electrified you. 
I believe God is rewriting and changing your, the way of your thinking. Remember, trust, believe in the Lord, and you will be established. Believe in thy prophet, and you shall prosper. 2 Chronicles 2020. My brother and sister, this is a wonderful day. And this is a wonderful, wow, wonderful message for every people that are watching right now. Can we bow down and let's pray together? Before we pray, can you shout and tell yourself, use radical faith. Believe in God. Trust in Him. Trust in Him. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's bow down and pray. Remember the consequence of not listening and believing what the Lord is saying. Through the prophet, God is giving us warning because of unbelief. And the entire Bible, the entire New Testament, the entire Hebrews, God is talking about the sin of unbelief. My brother and sister, whatever troubling you, whatever difficulty you, you are experiencing right now, I want you to believe in God. Activate your faith. Be a radical believer with radical faith. Let's close your eyes and let's bow down and pray. Heavenly Father, our Abba Father, our super rich God, rich in mercy, rich in grace, rich in forgiveness, rich in love, rich in material things. Lord, thank you for this wonderful message. Thank you for the four leapers story. Thank you for giving us the meaning of the true true wealth and that is the faith that you have given to us thank you lord and today lord i pray for everyone watching right now today you will overcome whatever difficulties you have in jesus name today whatever problem you have god is preparing a mighty solution upon your life yes He might not answer or you might expect the answer to your prayer just as what you wanted it to be. But God will do it differently. God is a, a Pikachu's God. He will do it differently more than what you are expecting. But God knows best. God is answering your prayer with greater mightier and long-lasting answered prayer to your difficulties. The Lord bless you. The Lord answer your prayer. The Lord empower you with your radical faith. Your stagnant faith is now converted into a radical faith. God bless you. And see you next week. And learn from our Epicasus leader, our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless everyone. See you. Shalom and shalom. More blessing to everyone.
mismo, la lápiz soy yo Ya mismo, ahora mismo, la lápiz soy yo Ya mismo, ahora mismo, la lápiz soy yo Ya mismo, ahora mismo, la lápiz